and two at home this season. 19 and 10 overall. The Bulls seven and six on the road. Green pull up three he is good. Embiid looking to take Carter. Gets into the center of the lane, hooks it in, hooks the foul. It's not easy to do that, to change the way you play or certain things in the game that come natural to certain people, but I feel like I'm figuring it out. As long as I can keep doing that and stay locked in, keep working on my mental game. Their defense, their pace, getting other players involved, that is so important to their success. Green buries another three. Many, and he definitely doesn't miss many looks. The Chicago Bulls are going to have to shore up that defense. How about Carter Jr. getting free and Levine finding him? Ten points. Quick math again from Richard Jefferson. That's what you come for. Embiid fading and hitting. How about that? <laughs> the little floater from Young. Short. The follow is good. The back could not. Good D there from Young. Williams, the rookie, banks it in. His ability to show up to the gym every day with a smile and ask a ton of questions. And, you know, he complimented uh, Coach Lucas with just really taking him under his wing. Gave a lot of credit to as well for their work with Patrick Williams as that layup goes. Plus the foul, Sadoransky on the finish off the bench either when he's playing the four or as a small ball five for the Chicago team. Woo. As Portmaz got free for the slam. Curry picks it out. Maz flips it up and off. Howard the offensive rebound in the flush. Away from Tobias Harris, but if anybody's been watching the NBA, there's a lot of historic numbers going around every team. Levine exactly Cuck just the night before that. As the layup won't go there from Maxi, here comes Young. Thaddeus Young shovels to Sadoransky who lays it in. Uh, I think if you listen to Kyrie, Kyrie was saying, hey, we want to see their whole team. We want our whole team, but we're going to see each other down the line. Gang rebounding from Chicago, but Maxi ends up back with it. Korkmaz can't hit the three. Howard uses his size to finish plus the foul. Williams, the rookie, lost it, but fortuitously to Archie Diacono, who floats it in. Great finish. <laughs> Sadoransky's wing three is good. Daniel Gaffer, the 38th pick of the 2019 draft. Second year with Chicago is Harris, able to finish that on the interior. Touch once he got to the cup. Here's Harris in transition with Embiid back in, and Embiid, the soft play after the large and loud steps. Second quarter action, Philadelphia 40-39 lead on Chicago, as Thaddeus Young floats that in. Playing the five for them at times when they go small. Embiid's jumper is smooth. 18 points for Joel Embiid. He came into the NBA and Thad was my vet. He's always been like a big brother to me. And for him to actually play his game this year, he does a little bit of everything. He's nearly averaging a triple double. And the Bulls in potential playoff position right now. And they will sort of have to juggle the impact of Young as Thibel puts it down in transition. If you do not keep veterans around young players, you hurt their development. You have to understand that these are, oh, and one. Chicago Bulls team should never be understated. Our colleague Bobby Marks called him the number four trade asset in advance of the trading deadline out on the market. Chicago's defense in scramble mode. That corner three won't go. Harris on the offensive glass puts it in. And it's rare that he frays outside of that. Can we just call him Archie? <laughs> you can. Carter Jr. showing the range. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers, Tobias Harris, is bigger than the largest player on the court uh, for the Chicago Bulls. You see Zach Levine with a great little left-hand finish. Chance for a two-for-one. MB oh, Euros his way to the bucket. And with health questions still looming, whether it's his knee or the recent back tightness, he's shown he's fighting through it, though, while taking care of his body and really a man on a mission this season, Ryan.
Billy without Ben Simmons again tonight because of illness. Embiid with three defenders Ooh. around him, able to put it in. We're not even three minutes into the third. Kobe White, nice little crossover and jumper. Harris looking for help, finds it in Embiid. Already 30 points, 11 rebounds for Embiid. Spins around three defenders again to finish. 76ers, but Joel Embiid is balling and nobody else has double figures. So, you know, right now this is a Joel Embiid show. To stay in bounds and save it to Levine. Chicago down four, Levine on the attack. Lays it in. And Carter was a little shaken up afterwards. So it's a five on four for Philadelphia and Green connects on that three. And have a chance of getting this win. Somebody else is going to have to start knocking down shots. Levine, difficult look, but not for Zach Levine. Who has not shot it well, but has gotten to the line off. And that was his first three of the game. And missed his first four. Harris, quick first step around, Ooh. William. Six assists. White will fire. And hit from three. A great game those thus far. Again, Harris gets to go left, and again he finishes. Harris is 12th rebound. Harris going right this time, using the window. Tobias Harris. Eight points in the third for Harris. Williams adjusts, can't finish. Thad Young with the follow. Rounded by three. Gets it back, has space, rhythm dribble. You bitch! But I think a great balance of posting up as you see him with the steal. Oh. Maxine goes up Ooh. under and in. It's a seven point. Sixer lead. Maxi gets denied Ooh. by Young. Chance in transition for Chicago. Temple all the way in, lays it home. Maxi bodies into Young. Good stand by Young, but Howard there on the follow. Well, we just need help for, from others. You know, right now it's one of those nights where, you know, you can see both teams struggling a little bit. Um, you know, the supporting cast, we got to get them going a little bit here. From three point range. Curry got that one to drop. Just his second field goal of the game, now 2 of 11. And that's how you know for Chicago Bulls that my guy, RG, I see you. And that's what the Chicago Bulls are slowly becoming. They're becoming a good team. Not, not quite there yet, but they're getting closer. As you see Valentine knock down the three. Normally, those type of stats. And my oh, guy, RG, again. RG Diacono. His career high is 49. He's topped 40 11 times in his career, and he's one point away from doing it again. Harris around the Embiid screen, can't float it in. Uh. Embiid, the putback is good. A lot of times we see that 43 and the elevated scoring in this league, 120, but he's got 43 of their 94 as the Philadelphia leads Chicago. Five minutes and 20 seconds to go in the fourth. Levine motors in and finishes over Embiid. Got 23 points on 6 of 19, but it doesn't matter what you are up until this point. It's a matter about how you finish this game. Soft touch from Tobias Harris. Comes up with a rejection. Levine in transition. Levine to the rack with the right-handed mammoth hammer. Help comes. Green's three is good very very hard to block that hook shot even it gets a bigger a bigger defender oh big to big passing and bead great recognition and harris the finish five point sixers lead temple with curry on his back out to levine step back three is good five seconds to go and bead step back jumper you bet joel Embiid tying his career high with 49 points. And that will do it. Joel Embiid, a 